In this video, I'm going to review the machine learning crash course by Google so that you can know if it's worth it to invest the time. We are going to look at five aspects of the course, a general overview, the structure and content, any prerequisites that you need to know, how long it took me, and whether or not I think it's worth it. Let's go. So the machine learning crash course is created by Google engineers. I'm not sure exactly when it was released, but I saw that it was updated as recently as 2023. You can find it online at developers.google.com. Now let's talk about the structure and content of the course. The course is divided into three sections, ML concepts, ML engineering, and ML systems in the real world. Most of the content is in the ML concepts section. The other two sections are very short, but I still found them useful, so it's worth going through them. Each of the sections include video explanations, written explanations, quizzes, interactive interfaces and Google Colab environments for you to experiment with code. I thought that the video explanations were kind of clunky and bad quality. It was hard to move around them and rewind, but the written explanations were a lot better and covered the same material. I also thought that the interactive interfaces were really cool. They allowed you to adjust different parameters of the machine learning models and see how the different decision boundaries would change. So that gave a great intuition about how the models work and what would happen. I also thought that the quizzes were really useful because it would give you a lot of feedback and explanation for whether your answer was correct or wrong. And I found myself learning new things that hadn't covered in the material just by taking the quiz. So don't skip those. And finally, the labs, they're all written in TensorFlow, NumPy, and Pandas. I thought they were pretty straightforward and easy. I didn't learn much from them, but they were still interesting. You're definitely not gonna become an expert in TensorFlow by going through the labs. Now let's talk about the content. What are you actually going to learn? They give you a lot of advice and intuition about places to apply the different algorithms and techniques that they teach you, which I think is really great. However, they only cover a few algorithms like linear regression, logistic regression, and neural networks. So you're not gonna learn about all the different algorithms there are. This really is a crash course. They touch on all these different concepts, but they don't go very deep. But now let's talk about the prerequisites. What do you need to know before you start this course? The course website actually has a web page that lists all of the prerequisites, and I basically agree with everything it says. It says that you need to know some NumPy and Pandas. This is mostly for the programming exercises. You don't need it really anywhere else. And you also need to know some basic math, and that's it. So how long did it take me to complete this course? Every time I sat down, I would start a timer on my phone, and when I finished, I would stop it. I added up all of those minutes and hours, and it came out to seven hours, three minutes, and 51 seconds. The course really isn't that long, but that was also spread across multiple days it wasn't all in one sitting but I guess you could if you really wanted to. One thing to keep in mind is that I'm not a beginner so I've seen this material before. If you are a beginner it might take you a little bit longer to get through it. So is it worth it? I think that if you're an absolute beginner starting from zero you should definitely take this course. It introduces a lot of key concepts and terminology. They also have a web page called the machine learning glossary that defines all of the terms that they mentioned throughout the course which is really useful to go through if you're just starting out. However, if you're more of an advanced learner and you already know a lot of these basic concepts, I don't really think it's worth it. Take a different course, probably like the Machine Learning Specialization by Andrew Ng on Coursera. That goes a little bit deeper into the theory while still being just as good as this. Maybe if you have some fear of missing out, then you could go through it. It's not that long, so you might as well. And that's it for this video. If you have any thoughts on this resource or know any other useful resources, please put them in the comments section below so that others and I can check them out. Let's learn this stuff together. And if you'd like to see more content like this from me, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.